and Norm is about to come in from the corral, I think. Yes, sir. Let me tie the old horse up here. There you go. That's the strangest looking horse I have ever seen. It's called a paddle horse. Paddle horse. You ain't seen a paddle horse Instead of before? a paddle boat? Instead uh, of a paddle it's a boat, new, it's a paddle horse. It's a horse. new breed. Got to have to change into my western outfit today. You were wearing western, so... Uh, mm -hmm. I figured while I was doing I said I was the rhinestone cowgirl cow girl. because mm -hmm. I've got the sparkly belt. Whoa. And the pocket sparkle. Whoa. But the rhinestone cowgirl should have a lot of money in those pockets. I think they're pretty empty. Pretty empty. And you don't have uh, gold. You ha I mean, you have gold. I have silver. If, All only, if only they were the real thing. Yes. The real gold yes. and the real silver. Yes. If it glitters, though, it must be gold, Pam, so... No, you haven't heard of fool's gold? Fool's gold. That fits me pretty good. You're we, exactly we right. We lived in uh, California. We lived in a canyon. Call it canyon. I couldn't think what it's called. In a canyon. And there was a little in a like, cavern. Little, yes, uh, darling Clementine. little river bed or stream bed or whatever behind it. You just knew there had to be gold out there. Somewhere. I went out there panning for gold, didn't I? I think you did find some that fool's, fool's gold. gold. Couple That's times. what I found. Was fool's gold. I'd like to do that again one day. There, there's places right in um, Alabama or Georgia. Remember we heard about that? There's diamond mines somewhere. But there's a, there's a place where you can go and pan for gold. I think it's in Georgia someplace. Do, do they seed it or whatever they call it? Put some gold in there? I wouldn't doubt it. They probably... Because it is a tourist attraction. Yeah. It'll I want, still be fun. I want a real gold nugget. I mean, I don't want to be looking around. You don't, want, you don't around. want that little... I want gold dust. Big you want gold nuggets, nuggets, huh? Yeah, I want to find enough. Okay, to. as I said, it is Friday, and it's also the last day of the month, the last day of March. Happy birthday, Good. Daylight to savings times begins. Yes, this yes, weekend. I like that. Saturday I night, like that. Spring forward. Happy birthday to Betty Griggs, to Brute, Brute Campbell Work, to Avalon Cosin, to Jean Sunday, to Kara Bird, to Mac Bengston, and to Paige Mims. Turning the calendar for our weekend. Boy, it's going to be uh, the 3rd of April. Okay. Uh, Saturday, the 1st, which is April Fool's Day. Happy birthday April going Fool's to Belinda Day. Makeda, to Bradley Waller, to Fred Lowry. You mean Bradley Waller is the wait April a minute. Fool's Day? Wait, 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 wait. i got to back up. April 30th was continued on the next page, and that is confusing. I don't care what you say. <laughs> don't you think that's confusing? I didn't say anything. Seems like they could have, you know, put an arrow or something. Okay, people. Friday, the thirtieth. Also, happy birthday going to Friday Nicole. Friday is the thirty-first. Oh, they've got April thirtieth at the top. Now it's even more confusing. Forget it. <laughs> Boy, am I confused. Boy, Boy am, am I confused. confused. Saturday, the first of April. Happy birthday going to Belinda Makeda. What did I say about April Fool's Day? They've already got me. Boy, am I confused. Bradley Waller, Fred Lowry, Greg Lathinghouse, Matt Carpenter, the second. Robert McCormick, Sarah Simmons, Sheila Urban. Anniversary greetings on Saturday to Mr. and Mrs. Doug Burnett. On Sunday, um, Nadine Ennis, Pat Briganti, Paul Allen McCormick, Sam L. Sims. Anniversary greetings on Sunday to Mr. and Mrs. Donnie Pyle, Mr. and Mrs. John Petty, Mr. and Mrs. Tate Jennings. Have a good weekend. Happy birthday to you, and we're sorry you we're so confusing. Just a little confused, not a whole lot confused. Got to be a little bit. But, I mean, it's early in the morning, and we're dressed in our western outfits because mm -hmm. we're getting ready to go on a hayride. Okay. You want to go on a hayride? Sounds good to me. You know what, you know what I don't like about hayrides? I guess this is my gripping time. You know what I don't like about hayrides? People usually have them when it's too cold to enjoy it. I don't like being cold. Well, Pam, in the summertime, the gr grass is growing, and you got to wait for the hay. They usually have them around Christmas time, and it's just too cold to enjoy it. No, it's usually around the harvest moon in they October. Have the people have them at Christmas time, shine too. They go out caroling. On, shine on harvest well, moon. We've gone caroling before up in the sky. on a hayride, and it's too cold. For, I don't like being cold for anything. It just ruins whatever I'm doing completely. That's because I'm your feet are so cold. All I can think about is getting someplace in the morning. This woman has the coldest feet of any it's other woman I know. Of course, I, I don't know. I was going to say, <laughs> here, this is a family show. Here, uh, devotional for today. <laughs> oh, I got her all confused. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Psalms 28, verse 2. 
I walked into a gymnasium in downtown Lansing, Michigan with my then five-year-old daughter Elizabeth to help our church run a soup kitchen. People were already receiving food, a few weather-beaten older men and a mother with children in canvas shoes and no boots on this snowy day. Mm. Elizabeth and I were directed to follow a beverage cart and serve the drinks. We headed for a Vietnamese family taking up two tables, Elizabeth slowly carrying a cup of juice. On the way, other servers bustling back and forth bumped into her. We managed to deliver a few more drinks, but then another collision knocked her down. I led her to the edge of the room, wiped her off, and comforted her. We stood for a while watching all of the activity. I realized then that we weren't helping. We were really in the way. They have plenty of help today, Elizabeth. I think we should go. Reluctantly, I headed to the door, frustrated and sad. On the way home, we stopped at a restaurant. As we ate our hamburgers, Elizabeth asked, Mom, what was wrong with the man we saw there, the one in the brown snowsuit? I'm not sure. He seemed kind of sad. I remembered his grease-stained snowsuit, his rambling speech, his face lined with pain. Then an idea came. Maybe we could still help. You know, Elizabeth, there were plenty of people serving food, but no one had much time to pray for the people eating it. I bet they could use some prayers. Why don't we do that? Okay. Yes, let's ask God to help the man in the brown snowsuit feel better. We prayed for him, then the Vietnamese family, then a mother who had been yelling at her kids. As Elizabeth finished eating, I silently continued praying for jobs and homes that spiritual hungers and thirst would be met. Father, never let me forget how and when to pray. Mary Brown. That is very good. That was excellent. It sure was. They works. need the food, but that's not all they need. Well, you got to have spiritual food. That's too. what I'm saying. That's not all they need. i got a poem here for Easter. Uh, Easter poem uh, and Easter I know I'm a few days early, but I see it. It says, For Easter, Oh, let me know the power of the resurrection. Oh, let me show thy risen life in calm and clear reflection. Oh, let me give out of the gifts thou fr freely gavest. Oh, let me live with life abundantly because thou livest. That is very good. That's very good. Very good. Well, I hope we uh, can see the clock over there because uh, I don't know who it was, but someone turned it in the wrong direction. Well, I sure can't see it. So this program might just ramble on forever. Oh, he'll never return. He'll never return. Can Lost you see it? MTA, can Metropolitan you, can, can Transit you, Authority. Can you see your clock? I can see clearly now. Okay. I can. How, what's the tune to that one? I can see I clearly think there's now. Do, 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 do. I think there's a song for everything. The rain is gone or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Giddy up, little. And on a clear day, you can see forever. On a clear day. Can't do, think do, of any more. Is there. Is there Clear skies? Was it? No, I yeah, wait, you, so. you've lost the track. We're, we're talking about time. <laughs> being able to see okay. the time. <laughs> well, you hit me on songs and I... Time is on my side. Okay. Okay, we've got uh, a number of announcements for you today. If you have things you'd like for us to include, you need to mail them to a different address because our uh, post office box, uh, they wanted the rent. And uh, we decided not to pay the rent this time. We're just going to go to the post office box. Cheap, 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 cheap. I mean, not the post office box, but the delivery box. Mailbox. Mailbox. Rural delivery. Rural delivery. Like uh, Mayberry RFD, right? Mm -hmm. That was a good show. But uh, anyway, it's post office. It's not post office box anymore. It is set. It's <laughs> you can't even say it, can you? That's why, that's why <laughs> I wear this outfit, because we're out in the country, folks. 667 Old Landfill Road. Mm -hmm. 667... Old Landfill Road. We're just up the road and a, and a hoot and holler from the landfill. landfill. <laughs> <laughs> on a clear day, you can smell it, right? On a clear <laughs> day, you can smell it forever. <laughs> you know, the tough place would be out there at the... Uh, Chicken farms? No, the, well, that would be tough, too. But out at the uh, the prison, uh, on a day when Ooh, the... they're real close to it, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, when the breeze was blowing just the right direction, they would have a smell, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think maybe so. I can see those prisoners getting in a fight. Did you put your deer on it, don't they? Oh, you don't stink. Yeah, you do stink. And they get the big fight over that, see. By the way, I got a news release not too long ago, and I meant to mention this, and I never can remember to do it. If you drive by the prison out there and you see satellite dishes up there, yeah. mm -hmm. it's not because that they have now have satellite TV service for the prisoners. It's a new training program and all the training information comes in over satellite. Just for the employees. And as a result of that, 
that's why they have the satellite dishes out there. A lot of people say, oh, now, they, now they're watching satellite TV, yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's, that's not what it is. It's, uh, it's for training purposes, so okay. that you'll know that.